I have been diving and looking at corals for the last 25 years, and they are fantastically beautiful. But let's face it, when you look at a coral on the reef, it looks a bit like a rock. And yet, when you look at it under the microscope, you see that it's teeming with life. This is a laser scanning confocal microscope. It takes high resolution fluorescent images and it's able to image live specimens. When you're looking at a coral, you're actually seeing two organisms. One would be the coral itself, which is the whole finger here. But living in the coral tissue are the single cell algae, which we call symbionts. Corals are the sum total of thousands of tiny polyps. And each of those polyps looks a little bit like an anemone that stretches across the skeleton and joins to the polyp next door. The color of the coral reflects millions of tiny algae that are living inside the animal cells. And it is these algae or these symbionts that produce the food that the coral eats and enable the coral to lay down the skeletons that form reefs. Well, Amy, so Amy, you've got that up. It's unbelievable. Look at that. It's like a classic anemone sitting on top of the skeleton. Amazing. Yeah, it seems to be very active right now. So the laser scanning confocal microscope gives us an insight into how the symbionts and the animal interact. If an animal associates with a particular type of symbiont, is the pattern predictable? And is the breakdown of that pattern predictable in a given set of environmental conditions? So right now it's at 28 degrees. So that was a sudden elevation from 23 up to 28. That's a five degree shift in temperature in a very short space of time. So we're trying to do two things. One, we're trying to understand the basic biology of why an individual on the reef performs really well is a super coral. And secondly, what we're trying to do is then harness that knowledge of why they might perform differently to try to prepare corals to face a future that is even warmer.